Music icon with Memphis ties is being remembered around the world. Tonight we're taking a look back at the life of rock and roll legend Jerry Lee Lewis, who died this morning at his home in South Haven at the age of 87. For millions of fans worldwide, those rock and roll anthems make up the soundtracks of their lives. Now those fans are saying goodbye to the rock legend. While he called Nesbitt, Mississippi home in his final years, Lewis was born in Faraday, Louisiana in 1935. He learned to play piano at the age of nine. When he was 21, he landed a job at Memphis's iconic Sun Studios, and it was there where he, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins famously recorded a jam session, which came to be known as the Million Dollar Quartet. In fact, Lewis was the quartet's longest living member, ABC 24 last interviewed him in April of 2013, days before the opening of the Jerry Lee Lewis Cafe and Honky Tonk right on Beale Street. Lewis's hotspot opened to celebrate the rockabilly culture he helped create when he burst onto the scene with his 1957 hit, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, showcasing his trademark high energy style and charisma. Dubbed the killer, the aggressive and enthusiastic entertainer was known for kicking over his piano bench and playing standing up. After shaking, more hits followed. Great Balls of Fire, Breathless, and High School Confidential. But the skyrocketing trajectory of his early career veered off course in 1958, when news surfaced that his third marriage was to his 13-year-old cousin, Myra Gale Brown. They claimed she was 20 years old. In the fallout of the scandal, Lewis's career was never the same. He never reached the level Johnny Cash or Elvis did. However, he'll point out this fact about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I was inducted first. Elvis was inducted second. Inducted in 1986, his legacy was cemented in his early success. In the 1960s and 70s, he did live tours and cut country albums. And even in his senior years, he continued playing live shows. However, canceled concerts in Memphis were an early indication of Lewis's failing health. Claiming illness, he canceled a November 2014 show at the Cannon Center. Then in 2016, another concert meant to mark his 81st birthday canceled at his own club on Beale because of bronchitis. And he battled these health issues for the next several years. Earlier this month, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame but his doctors determined he was just too sick to attend the ceremony in Nashville. Instead, Chris Christofferson and his wife drove to the Mid-South to hand deliver the award, the pair snapping this photo together of the personal award celebration. Jerry Lee Lewis leaves behind his seventh wife, Judith Moore, whom he married in 2012. He also leaves behind two sons and two daughters.